My name's Brittany. Um, I did the positives and negatives of stem cell therapy. What I decided to start with is a, a recent debatable topic. I thought that would be the best way to get information easily. And I've done a lot of that in science and yeah, just thought it would tip me. Yeah, I've always been interested in science all throughout school and I you know, wanted to follow it further in uni as well. Yeah, there was actually a few, you know, thoughts that I had um, doing cancer as well, but um, so I decided on that one in the end because, yeah, of the information I thought it would be interesting and debatable as well, so you get information from positive and negative side. Well, I used a lot of the templates that was given to me from my teachers as well, but because it is such a broad topic, um, the positive and negatives, I need to make subtopics. So the biggest key was to um, help people who didn't really know about it understand it as well. So having topics like, you know, what is it to start with? And then um, going from the positive side, having what are the main positives and then the negative side, what are the main negatives as well? So really break it down into those subtopics. Um, my main information was from my primary sources because that was the most reliable and then they did direct me to websites and that was the best for me because I knew I could rely on those websites like the Australian Stem Cell Centre. My main primary source was Ernst Wolbertang um, from the Queensland University I reckon um, and yeah he was the head in that department of the stem cell research and he was absolutely amazing when it came to doing that. Just phone calls and we tried to Skype as well and um, but yeah I was, phone calls was the best. I had pre-written down my questions what I wanted to ask him and he was very helpful and he had questions for me as well so we had a good discussion about it as well. I had a report, so a scientific report but as well again trying to make it so it was easy for everyone to understand. To not too scientific. <laughs> yeah, I started with footnoting because that was the easiest, um, but my teachers did recommend doing um, in-text as well because that um, was more like doing uni referencing. I thought that would be a better way to do it as well so I can get a head start on doing that for uni. I had a problem with finding the same information with a lot of the websites that I went on because it was very general discussing what you know stem cells were and what were the positives and negatives. So I came across a lot of the same points. So finding diversity in um, the subjects and the main topics that I had was quite difficult. And that's where my main, uh, my primary sources came in handy. And I could really get into the finer detail with that, so. My main advice would be write down all the websites that you use straight up because going back and trying to find those websites that you went through is a nightmare. I guess it was helpful for starting uni as well. Um, having the science background for the topic that I did was really handy because I, doing a lot of the topics in that was like they related and stuff as well. And for the research side of it, um, doing assignments and Referencing was an absolute key to doing the assignments for uni as well and I want to get back into that next year and it's going to be a big help.